Welcome, everybody. Oh, hold on a second. Let me shut my door. Hey guys, how's it going? There's 19 people with no questions. I think I hit record already. Yeah, it's recording. How's the Wake World thing going? Busy, busy, busy. Nuts this time of year. So if I don't return your emails, you know why. I mean, there's probably a lot of people who don't get their emails returned. There's only so much you can do in a day. I'm going to try and uh, zoom my camera in here. Mmm, high tech. Uh, what has been happening with Wake World? <laughs> Gaga. It's Lady Gaga. Let me turn my volume up here. Um, oh, just uh, trying to get content up, basically. Right now I'm doing a photo gallery for the Kentucky Tour Stop uh, with a couple videos that Austin Hare put together. So hopefully we'll have those up tonight. And then tomorrow we got to put up the results of our uh, CWB or my CWB contest where they uh, people um, designed uh, wakeboard graphics. I probably shouldn't be eating on here, huh? Love the stories and pics makes the day better. What's the craziest thing you've seen this year? Oh, it's probably this weekend first ride of the day, my buddy Randy Murray does a back roll, comes up short, straight-legged, breaks his tibia. I was really gross. We have video. It's hard to watch. It's kind of a Joe Theismann thing. That's pretty crazy. Any predictions into best film of the year? Oh, it's going to be Global Warning. No, that's the one we sponsor, so. But it's a great film, so. Here, I got it. I, I should, uh. I should represent it right here. If I can find it. No, I can't find it. I was watching it this weekend, so it's probably in the DVD player. Uh, but definitely check it out. The intro alone is worth, <laughs> worth it. Um, let's see, we had, we had a group this weekend actually of about uh, 20 people watching uh, Global Warming in the uh, big garage theater, so that was pretty fun. Um, let's see, what are you crazy? Go ahead and eat. <laughs> it's just licorice, it's like I'm at the movies. Uh, what's the best board you've ever ridden? I don't ride a lot of different boards because I find that whenever I change boards, I get even worse than I already am, which is which is hard. I actually uh, I've I've really seriously ridden like three maybe four boards in my life. I spent most of my time on the Liquid Force trip for years and years, and then when the Lyman came out, I finally uh, finally graduated a little bit, and I've been on the Lyman ever since. But I did hit a slider with it the other day, and I took a spin off so I'm kinda I'm kinda riding hobbled right now. Um so the best board I've ever ridden is the Lyman, but as I said I don't ride a lot of boards, so that's certainly not saying anything bad about any other boards. Plus I'm not a very good rider, so um here let me move my camera here a little bit. Um Post a video. Yeah, I will post uh, Randy's video, um, but it's a, it's a, I want to just pull that clip out, and uh, we have a thread going on the discussion board on Randy's injury, so I'll put that up there. Maybe we'll, we, it, it shows some, uh, some of the x-rays and stuff, too, so it's kind of, 
kind of neat. Poor Randy. He's had a he's had a real rough year, and uh, this is just the topper on it. So uh, everyone's best wishes out to Randy. Um, who do you think will be rider of the, the year? Oh, I think it's going to be tough to not see Rathy at the top of that. That guy's excelled in so many areas. It's ridiculous. Who's in global warning? Um, let's see. Uh, Rathy, Murray, Lyman, Lidberg, Alberts, Webb, and Smith. I think I got them all. Um, given the economy, what's the impact on the wake industry this year? It's really hit the wake industry very hard, especially the boat companies. Um, luckily, we have done very well. Uh, in fact, it's probably helped us because, you know, uh, print mags are a lot more expensive to uh, advertise. In, and I've been telling advertisers for years what a great bargain we are. And now this year they're finally uh, finally coming to us to uh, uh, stretch their ad dollars a little bit further. So that's been nice. Um, has it been nuts? Um, yes, it has been nuts. The economy has been nuts. Uh, the Lyman board is completely sick. It is completely sick. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how long have you been doing Wake World? I've been doing Wake World since... December of 98. Uh, that's when I bought it from a guy. He had been doing it for two years. And and then in uh, 2001, after 9-11, I got laid off from my real job. So I've been doing it full-time ever since. Uh, it has been as l around as long as <laughs> many people can remember. Um, what do you think the best innovation in the industry is this year? I don't know. We're trying to get nominations for that on the... Um, discussion board. Uh, it seems like every year we always forget one, so um, Cessa Tech seems like a, a pretty the System 2.0 seems like a pretty uh, major innovation. Also, Epic's hybrid boat is huge as well, so uh, I think those two stand out so far from what I can remember, but hopefully uh, we'll, get, we'll get a few more nominations in there. So any of you companies out there that have an innovation uh, go on the discussion board, find that thread, and, and post it in there, because I don't want to leave anyone out. Good to see that you've been a beneficiary of the economy. Do, do, do. Um, what are the politics like in wakeboarding compared to other sports? You know, I'm super insulated from the politics. Uh, I kind of see what's going on, but I don't, I don't, I don't really get involved in them that much. Um, it's tough to explain why we're not really a pro rider driven uh, publication so things are a little different for us um, but it's it's nice that we're kind of out, out of the politics obviously we get touched a little bit but um, we, we're pretty independent uh, wow you had a regular job that's crazy uh, it's crazy that I had a regular job Uh, now the epic boat, the hybrid boat, not only have I, I have not ridden behind it, but I have driven the boat. And uh, we did that um, just a couple weeks ago uh, down at Carlsbad Lagoon, and the boat's pretty amazing. And they've, they've already sold a ton of them overseas. Um, I think they sold 18 alone just to one country, and they're, they're not even putting the generator on those ones. They're all batteries, so... Um, there's definitely a market for them, not necessarily in the United States right now at the high price they're at, but um, they are selling those bad boys, which to me is just amazing. Uh, what challenges do you see the riders go through? Any of them more difficult than others? What challenges do you see the riders go through? Um, a lot of competition. That's, that's probably the main challenge. they got to really stay on their game. Um, I think it's neat that, that there's so much competition out there that, that we can have Philip Sovin just completely dominate one year and then the next year uh, somebody else steps up. So it's, it's real interesting to see who steps up and, and, and really works their butt off in the off season and comes out, comes out on top. Um, 
Are women making an impact in wakeboarding? Of course. Always. I love seeing the women. I'm bummed that they're not at every pro tour stop. I think that's that's a real bummer to step back from that, but I realize you have to have uh, you have to have sponsors to do that kind of thing and in this tough economy it's rough, but it'd be real nice to see the pro the girls on every single pro tour stop. Um, and hopefully we'll get that back uh, eventually. Um, also there's also a, a lot of um, a lot of cool things going on for women. You know, Becky Carter just did a thing up in Northern California uh, where all the women get to got together and uh, rode, and uh, it sounded like it was a great time. Everybody everybody loved it. So it's people like that that are really progressing women's wakeboarding. And uh, it's just, to me, I love watching it. I mean, it's, it's fun. It's always great to have them as a part of the, the tour. Are you going to Surf Expo? Yes, yes. Every year go to Surf, surf Expo. Um, do you do other sports besides wakeboarding? Uh, not really. I don't do much else. I can't really afford other sports. <laughs> sports are expensive. I've done some snowboarding, some motorcycle riding, but if you really get into that stuff, it's it's a lot of money. So I just stick with wakeboarding. I'm in Southern California, so luckily it's it's not too hard to do it year round, and uh, that's what I really enjoy doing. Uh, one thing I've noticed in the major magazines is the same writers highlighted over and over. Your site gives me insight into other scenes. Is that one of the things you are trying to accomplish? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think we try to we try to mix it up as much as we can. I know that there's top names that people want to see a lot, so we, we definitely try to hit on those. But we have a writer link uh, where we kind of hit on some lesser known people. And uh, so we, we try and uh, throw a cast a wide net, and uh, hopefully that pleases everybody. Who do you think the hardest working rider is? Oh, there's so many hard working riders out there. Um, yeah, I wouldn't even want to name one. I mean, it's unbelievable what some of these guys do. I mean, Rathi, if you just look at the progress he's made this year, I mean, I, I, I don't know the guy, and, and I've met him, but. I don't know what he did in the off season, but obviously that guy's working awfully hard. So it's uh, tough to say who the hardest working rider is. Um, what do you think it would take to see more women at more stops? Money, money, money. Um, just sponsors. Um, probably more participation too. Um, if you go look at the list of competitors at, at the at the World Cup or the Queen of Wake stops, there's not that many. So. Uh, if you have a girlfriend, wife, whatever, get her out there, get her on the water, and get her uh, competing. Speak up. I am speaking up. Turn up your computer. Is anybody else having problems hearing me? I'm normally p too loud. Um, we do have money to spend. Ha ha. Oh, the girls. We have to hook up at Lyman's again for Expo. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. Um, what do you think about the ownage that occurs with people trying to self-advertise on Wake World? I like the way the community polices its own, and I think it's pretty neat that they don't let people get away with stuff like that. Um, it is your community, and uh, you shouldn't have to put up with that kind of stuff. It's embarrassing for those companies who try and do it. Uh, what did you do before wakeboarding? I did uh, accounting and computer database programming. So I worked in a finance department of a money manager. Uh, and I worked at a big six accounting firm. Uh, women in wake skaters have been... Women in wake skaters have been some of the biggest shows on Stoke Meter. Why do you think that? I have no idea. Um, let's see. Arun, that would be awesome. Yeah. What was the ETA of the new improved Wake World website? Oh man, that's a golden question. Hopefully next uh, beginning of next year, but the problem is I got no time to work on it right now, and I really need to get it start, get the the developers started. So I haven't even picked the developer yet, even though we've got some good bids in. So that's on my list. It's on my project list. Um, can I get my uh, oh Arun wants his own room when we go to Orlando for Expo just to do photo shoots. Uh, yeah, I can get your room that Days in that uh, I booked you and Dave Cervenka in a while back. 
Um, accounting. You were an accountant. Glad that you are doing this instead. Yeah, I hated accounting. And I knew I never wanted to do accounting. But I was going to try and get my CPA. But I, I never actually did that. I didn't stick around the big six accounting firm for long enough. Where do you get most of your content for your website from? Um, I don't think I get most anywhere. Maybe most from Arun. He does a lot of pictures. He does our rider link stuff. Um, but I get it from everywhere. We got Austin here doing videos. We got people all over uh, 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 taking pictures. We got Case and Satterhow taking pictures and doing uh, interviews and articles and things like that. So um, that's what's great about it is we got we got people everywhere doing stuff for us. So um, that's how it works so well. How many people are there working at Wakeworld and do you have any open positions? We have some open positions for unpaid interns. Uh, so yeah. Um, but I'm the only one working here as an employee. Other than that, they're spread out all over the place. Um, how's the new site coming along? I just answered that. How many people are there working at Wakeworld and do you have... Oh, I just read that. Who else are the kingpins in wakeboarding websites? Well, Alliance and Wakeboarding Magazine got some uh, really good websites. Um, of course, Stoke Media. You know, they dominate. Um, what do you think the best way to get a kid involved in wakeboarding is? Uh, take them out and connect them to a rope behind a boat and pull them. When you say involved in wakeboarding, does that mean sponsored and things like that or or just to get them riding I mean the easiest way to get them riding is to either get them out in the boat or call your buddy who's got a boat and get them out there that's what a friend of mine just did down the street he said hey my kids got a wakeboard and we want to take them out will you come with us and so we're gonna go out and get them up on the wakeboard who would you say is the nicest pro out there well I haven't met all I don't know the all the pros really well Probably Andrew Atkinson would be the most, the nicest and most polite. <laughs> he, he cracks me up. I remember when he got his first pro model, he, he thanked me. He said, you're a part of this. And I was like, what? I, I had nothing to do with it, but um, I thought that was really cool. And he's, he's always so super polite. But there's so, many, there's so many great writers like that. So that's why I really love this industry. It's just some, there's a lot of cool people in it. Um, do you have your own servers? Uh, my I'm on a leaf server. My my website is on its own server. Yes, uh, by itself, if that's what you mean. How has it been to see the evolution of wakeboarding over the years? I'm sure you've seen it all. I probably haven't seen it all, but it has been pretty cool because I've been in in the business for a long time. Uh, I was uh, on the Cal State Northridge water ski team when wakeboarding first started. And I remember at one of our water ski tournaments that we hosted, one of our giveaways from HO was, um, it was before Hyperlite even existed. It was the HO Hyperlite wakeboard, directional wakeboard that we gave away at one of our uh, one of our events. And that that that's really when I first saw wakeboarding. Um, I had actually uh, probably uh, tried to skirt for around the same time, but amazing to see all the stuff that's happened since then. You know, I bought a Liquid Force Free was my first wakeboard. Uh, soon after that, I still have the old green Liquid Force Free 145. Um, Adkinson is a good person, no doubt about it. Where's the thickest place you've visited during your time at Wakeworld? Um, I've visited that before my time at Wakeworld, but I, I think Lake Powell is one of the coolest places to go check out. I also go to Lake San Antonio a lot or at least once a year. I, I pretty much grew up going to Lake San Antonio in, in Central California. Um, so I love that place as well. How many moderators do we have on Wakeworld? Uh, we have about six or so. Just a couple of them that are really active. Walt, Walt's probably the main man. He, he, he does more than anybody, but uh, we got a lot of people helping out. Uh, any plans for a new Wakeworld boat? Yes, in fact, the uh, current wake world boat is sitting out in my driveway ready to head back to the factory uh, next Tuesday and they are uh, building a 2010 
wake setter VLX right now that hopefully will be available to me about mid-August and so uh, we're very excited about that they got their new tower the new hull um, all kinds of new stuff I noticed on the list of options now you can get a heated passenger seat which is uh, you know that's stuff you need uh, lights under the swim deck things like that uh, but yeah I'm very excited about that it's gonna be very cool uh, and we also ordered it in all white, and we're probably going to get a we're going to get a wrap for it. So we're going to we're going to get a little crazy this time around. So hopefully we're going to have a pretty cool looking looking boat. Um, <laughs> what is the feasibility of actually getting a cable park in San Key, California? I'd say it's pretty good. Uh, it's a lot of work to get anything done here in California, but. Um, the developer is real persistent. They got a good plan. Uh, the city that they're putting in in progressive bunch of people, and I think it's going to happen. So it's just a matter of uh, going through the motions, going to the meetings. We got a meeting uh, on the 12th. So anybody in Southern California that can make it out to support that, uh, there's a we'll have a press release for it up on the the website. But um, there will be a uh, cable in Southern California very soon so that's pretty exciting um, speaking of sick places how was Brostock? Brostock was fantastic it always is you can't go wrong there at uh, Lake Powell um, and uh, great event great competition great people so it was a lot of fun you should, shouldn't shouldn't miss it if you go to one event a year that should be the one you go to wow what kind of boat do you have Malibu Wake Set or VLX 2008 soon to be 2010 Oh, never mind. Question answered. No, the stoke doesn't permeate onto the iPhone. I don't know what that means. Tell us about the last time you went night wakeboarding. I don't know if I've ever gone night wakeboarding. That's dangerous. I wouldn't do anything dangerous. Uh, do you have any pets? Everyone I've interviewed has some type of weenie dog. No, I have real dogs. I have a 114-pound lab and a 90-pound blue tick coonhound. And then we got a couple horses. We got a desert tortoise, a bird, some fish. Um, I think that's about it. Santee's in uh, San Diego County. It's uh, kind of smack dab in the middle of the county. Are you sponsored by Coors Light? No, I just like that board. What is your most memorable interview and why? Hmm. Um, that's a good question. I remember, I remember the last interview I did with Chad Sharp being super interesting. And that was a few years ago. I can't really answer your question as to why. I just remember it's thinking, man, this is a really good interview. Um, I'd have to go back and read it and tell you why. You can go read it. It's really good. Uh, but all our interviews seem to be really interesting. Uh, do you ever get sick of wakeboarding? No, I don't really go enough to get sick of it. Um, my family probably gets sick of it. Uh, so usually if we go on vacation, it's not a, it's not a wakeboarding vacation. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it's tough to get sick of it because I just don't get enough time out on the water, so I'm always excited to get out. You should rename the Wake World Ghost to the Bone Crusher. Oh, the ghost would go right through the Bone Crusher. Don't be silly. Um, yes, we do live in a petting zoo. Have you ever ridden beside behind the Bone Crusher? No, I have not. The, the last time I rode behind an X-Star was the very first one, the 2003 X-Star, I believe, back when we tested it at Darren Shapiro's place many, many years ago. What do you think needs to happen for wakeboarding to go to the next level, whatever that next level might be? I think cable is going to be the next level, and I think you're already seeing it. We've got seven cable parks. I think just a few years ago we had three, two or three. Um, that's definitely going to be the next level. When you can, especially for a place like San Diego, where they won't let you go on the water anywhere unless it's the ocean. Um, they got one lake open right now. It used to be a 40-boat lake, and I don't know how, but they upped it to 100 boats. And you, and even then.
again it's a complete zoo so cable is is I think the future of, of wakeboarding uh, it's not going to replace boat uh, because they're obviously two very different things but that's that's what's going to be exposing people to wakeboarding in the future have you ever been on television I've been on television just for Wake World stuff. We've we've done a couple uh, wakeboarding shows with Planet X and things like that. So yeah, I've been on TV. Nothing, not any, not not for any real big reason. Uh, what's the biggest cable website? Uh, I don't know. Cablewakeboard.net and .com. I know there's two of them out there. Um, how do you feel about riders so bent on getting respect from other board sports? Oh, I think that's G to the A to the Y. Um, it's just, I think it's lame. And he, uh, in fact, I saw I saw something in, I think it was the Alliance to Wake Skate or something, and, and it, was, it was an interview with a wake skater, and he was saying how he wants that, all his tricks to look exactly like skateboarding. And... You know, I respect the guy, you know, for being a great wake skater and everything, but to me that just seems, why wouldn't you just go wake skateboard then? Um, that just seems silly. I want to, I would want my tricks to all look like wake skating tricks. I wouldn't want them to, you know, obviously respect the previous sports, but I don't know. It just bugs me when people worry about what other sports think about wakeboarding, um, I think we we're, we're like uh, wake sporting seems to be the sport like that little kid that tries too hard to get everybody to like him. I think that's a little embarrassing. Wake sport wakeboarding is its own sport. It's a board sport, but its own sport. Let's do what we want. Let's grab Tindy if it makes you feel good. We don't have to we don't have to be all anal about our sport. <laughs> I say that because I grab Tindy all the time and I love it. Um. What are your thoughts on the sudden influx of flex boards? Hey, any 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 move forward in technology is great. Competition is good. Competition is good. So, I think it's great. Um, if people like them, then ride them. Whatever floats your boat. Um, who is the Tiger Woods of wakeboarding? I don't know if we had a Tiger Woods. Have a Tiger Woods. If you asked me last year, I would have said Philip Sovin, but. Still, I mean, we don't have anyone who, right now who's who's dominated like Tiger has. Do you think we'll see more urban winching type of stuff? Um, yeah, definitely. I think that's that that and cable are the future of our sport. Winching and cable. Uh, when you make it, when you make our sport convenient, where you don't have to have a boat and all that stuff, then you just expo expose more and more people to it, and that's just going to help boat wakeboarding as well. Uh, because they're, those people are eventually going to want to get behind a boat. You've had ma mostly black boats and now an all white boat. What color would your next one be? Uh, it's all white. We're going to get a wrap for it. Um, actually, I've had mostly white boats. We've only had one black boat. Were you there in Venice for that? No, I was not. What's the funniest thing you've heard today? Oh, I've been home working alone all day today, so I really haven't heard anything that funny. Sorry, sorry to disappoint you. The house has been empty. Cable winching, what's next? What's next after that? I don't know. I don't have that. My crystal ball is not that good. Um, 